So what is recursive formula for a geometric sequence? Okay. So a geometric sequence is basically a sequence of numbers that follows a common pattern. Okay. In terms of a geometric sequence, each term in the sequence is multiplied by a common ratio. Okay. So we have our values of a sequence. So we have S1, right? This is the first term, S2, S3, S4, Sn. Okay, so we can have n terms of our geometric sequence, right? And each term of these sequence is related to each other. Okay, so S1 is by itself just S1, but S2 can be said to be S1 times what we have as a common ratio, R. Okay, S3 can be S2 with a common ratio, R. S3, S4 is equal to the common S3 times the common ratio of R, right? And if we keep going, then Sn can be related to Sn minus 1 times common ratio of R, okay? So these are equal to each other. There's another way to describe a, the terms in a geometric sequence, and we relate it to the first term, okay? So S1 stays the same again. S2 is S1 times R, right? But S3, which is equal to S2 times R, can also be written as S1 times R times R. Okay? S4, which equals S3 times R, can also be written as S1 times R times R times R. Okay? And if you keep going, Sn can be written as S1 times R to the power of n minus 1. Okay? So these are different ways of describing each terms of the sequence, right? We can each either describe them as independently from each other, or related to the previous term, or related to the first term, right? So this is what a geometric sequence is. Okay, and these are the general formulas, right? So when they're asking us for a recursive formula for a geometric sequence, a recursive formula is basically a formula which uses the previous term of the sequence to find the next term of the sequence. Okay, so that's that's what it means by recursive. Okay, so the recursive t formula for a geometric sequence would then be given as a n, or the nth term of the sequence, is equal to a n minus 1, so the previous term of the sequence, times r. That's what a recursive formula is for a geometric sequence, right? So finally, I just want to describe what the formula or the general formula for this, uh, for this sequence is, okay? So the general formula for this sequence, I'm going to write it in green to differentiate from this, is so the a nth term is going to be a1 times r to n power of n minus 1. So this is the formula for this sequence, and this is the formula for the blue sequence. And this is our recursive formula. This is our general formula, okay? So this solution is correct. Good job. Cool. All right, let's move on to question number nine.